Just change tapes, quarter past five. The clock on the camera says quarter to um, six. We're going to have to start looking for a camp spot soon. All these wrecks make it a more interesting journey than the Anne Bedell track, I think. We're all having deep discussions about last program maintenance and tear and capacity. And over here, the hugely heavy bogies of the, the wheels ride on that bit there that sits in a clamp there, that one's upside down and it sits on that and spins inside. This one's been cut away, sheared off and taken to the inquiry probably as evidence. We still have the final place to camp. Well, we just left the, that wreck back there, and here comes the passenger train. They've been wondering, we hadn't actually seen a train for a while. Noticing there's Spinifex country now for the last 30 odd K. I was just thinking there was a nice stretch of track, a nice straight stretch of track there heading straight in the sun. It would have been nice if a train came and there it was. Well, it's quarter to seven, we're starting to look for bushy sheltered spots and we found one in amongst the trees near the um, mobile phone tower. We're just checking out for spiders, it's a lovely cobweb there, you get the trapdoors and things in amongst the bushes and we've got a nice little spot here in amongst the trees, we're just setting up in amongst the bushes here, we're backed into a, a nice little shelter spot, and we've got, well Anthony has very good mobile phone coverage, there's a the next G Telstra Tower right next to us here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What do they weigh? 30 tonnes each, the empty ones. Goes 
stone can with a rough sign all there on it and still going up and down up and down the sand dunes or limestone more of a limestone area oops it's the railway The sun had come out, you could see for miles. Must be 20 or 30 k up there to the north. There's a few sunny patches coming out just over there. Anthony's up ahead. Just waiting for the sun to creep across, come around the corner on the, the track. Blowing a gale. There's storm gale force winds down the coast. Well there's our first trig station, we passed that 2k back just 50 metres off the road. There's one that uh, Anthony surveyed too. He surveyed along the line in the 60s where it all there. And the memorial over here that must be the, the siding. The sun comes and goes very rapidly. The desolate bit of country out here. So there's the trick we saw. So we're going to head up to the well, water to soak. I thought it'd be worthwhile going up to try and find all day water up because when I came out here before, I, I, I could have plotted at the time I didn't. <laughs> and I didn't do this till I got home. So. So just looking at the trigs on the map and seeing where the old soak is got sucked out by 40 or 90, yeah, 40,000 litres a day for the train dried up. Big airstrip behind the. Oh, we've got penalties. Wash your hands in it. No, it's all rainwater. It's built from my roof. It's perfectly uh, no flavour. Yeah, it's all rainwater. Hi, my name is Russell Bryant. This whole day uh, tanks always empty. How can we survive with no water? Can someone sing? Can someone dance? or drink lots of wine. 
Well, the tanks are full today. And there's a little deeper over the bridges uh, here, but it comes back out on the limestone again. This is trying to find the Aldea Soak north of the um, siding at Aldea. We're about how far up now, Bill? stuck in the sand back there, I didn't get a video, I got a photo we ground to a halt with the tyres at 36 so I had to let them down to below 20 and with the, the trailer still hitched we managed to get going again on the sand it wasn't this bad though now we're walking into the soak yeah, a bit tricky with the trailer and they brought burnt coal and stuff from the train, the old steam trains to reinforce the track so they could drive over it in their Model T Fords in 1904 or 5. They've even got a 9 speed limit here. We crossed the, the last dune for quite a while to the north anyway, up there, big flat plain. Big face. It's the Bigfoot. The camel tracks coming down to the the soak. You think? I don't know. There's a lot of flints around here. A little workshop. We've done. 1.2k along the track, got down to 108 metres elevation, no sign of the soak, no sign of anybody, no sign of the soak up on this rise. There's another sand dune to the north and they keep going on. Now there's Mary and Anthony just appeared down there in the, the sand looking for the soak. Yeah, there's a lot of um, chips around. But, uh, oh, this is the multi mighty old deer soak here. Old deer, old deer, old deer. The Aborigines have a different accent on the names. Maybe he's one.